So you're probably thinking, wait up, is Daniel about to show us a rotary powered Suzuki car? Or is it like a bait and switch thing which he never does? And the answer is, yeah. That's right, coming at you, my man Dan, the Australian in Japan. Bringing you them classic autos from across the sea, showing them to you and me. Cars that would never be seen again, rust it up, tell a friend. Cars that no one gives a damn, except the Wasabi Dan. And then it's seen again, and what do you know? Coming at you live in another Wasabi Cars video. Hey, g'day everyone, this is Daniel O'Grady. Welcome to another Wasabi Cars video. I do hope you're doing well. I'm at the Nihon no Meisha Rekishikan. And I'm basically here to see this one car. Ah, look, I can't carry this farce on any longer. I confess, I am talking about two distinct Suzukis. On one hand, we've got the car. It's a 1966 Frontier. 800 a fascinating vehicle mechanically just bizarro strap yourself in for it and on the other hand we've got a motorcycle from suzuki the re5 i believe it's rare and sought after that's a quirky old oddball bike and there are three down the road so that's incredible so while i was setting up this video i thought about those bikes and i thought uh, 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 wouldn't it be funny uh. Prepare to be shook, people, because what I'm about to say is going to rock the very foundations of everything you think you know about cars. Now, I showed you a bunch of older vehicles up the top of the video, but this Fronte 800 was the very first four-wheeled vehicle that Suzuki produced that was called a Suzuki. Yeah, those older cars that were built for the K segment, i.e. the sub 360cc engines at that time, they were branded Suzu Lights. Now, you can go back and you can watch all the captions again. But anyway, this one, the first Suzuki. And next, I'm going to hand it over to you to have a bit of a think about this. A 1966 car. Just give some thought to the engine, the drivetrain, you know, all that sort of stuff. Have a good old think about it. 1966, what's going on? Right, now here we go. This engine, 785 cc's. Yeah, sure, it's a Fronte 800. However, this has three cylinders and is a two-stroke. Wow. Next bombshell is that that engine is transverse mounted and it's a front-wheel drive car. And now the gearbox, what do you think's going on there? Would you believe? Four speed, column shifted, manual. So what do you think of the styling people? There only was the two-door sedan. It's a body style that I particularly like. I guess because I don't see it so much, that could be it, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, it wasn't a big seller. It was not popular. What, they sold it from 65 to 69. In that time, they sold like not even 3,000 of these and presumably other body styles was a, a big investment for not much potential return so yeah this is what we got and i know someone's already thought it if they haven't already typed it in the comments the rear styling i see a little bit of 1961 chevrolet in there do you up front it's a little bit too mm, boring ish for me however a solid effort for whoever designed it and i say that because there was a rumor wow uh michelotti designed this car but the design was attributed to a japanese fellow called sasaki toru oh and because we're also talking about the re5 motorbike that was styled by giorgetto giugiaro how's my italian nailing it interior and look this car like so many other cars in this particular museum the seats have been re-trimmed in a very thickish and unflattering vinyl. Uh, it's great that they're, you know, maintained, but it's it's pretty sad to look at, people. Anyway, moving on, and the dash. I'm loving the styling of it. Have a look at the classiness of almost everything that we can see, albeit with the reflections coming off glass, etc. But hey, I'm liking it a lot. I have been seeing some very cool stuff at the auction yards on my strolls and I do put together vids for Patreons and those who support the channel via YouTube's own channel memberships. If you would consider one of those options it would mean the absolute world to me because it means more car vids that I can put out and I love putting out. Beyond that people, it costs you zero yen to subscribe, ring the bell. And I do have a question for you all, it's motorbike related. 
tell me a bike you like because there were some bikes in this video and the place that I saw them at, uh, they're gonna let me stroll through and document all of the motorbikes. I believe they're gonna be all up for sale too. I'm not even kidding. But uh, if you're keen on bikes, let me know what you like. Everyone, I'll be seeing you next Saturday with another one and until then, take it easy and goodbye.